how y'all doing? I am done. You can't really see it the way I'm laying down, but I'm getting my lymph nodes biopsied Tuesday and having a mammogram on Wednesday. Um, I've pretty much thrown in the towel. I have lost my cancer battle. <laughs> There's lumps potentially in my breasts. We can't, or my left breast anyway, we can't tell from poking around because it's just right there at whatever internal border wall. I don't know how the body's built, but whatever. So getting a lymph node biopsy to see what kind of lymphoma I now have or if the clear cell ovarian just metastasized, but it's probably a second cancer. I don't know yet. I'll find out after maybe about a week I get the results. But then the possibility of the lumps crossed over into the breast, if that's a third um, cancer or not, a biopsy later will have to be done, but it, that probably could be the clear cell ovarian busting through and just, you know, taking new territory. So I've decided not to do treatment anymore because it's ridiculous. Seriously ridiculous. I've been at this two solid years. 23 sit-downs in the infusion chair. The way they count cycles versus sitting in the chair is a little different because my last <coughs> three cycles had three infusions each. So if you ask them, they might count it in cycles and give a lower number, but I'm... I count how many times I sat there and watched poison being pumped into my body. 23 times. Uh, I've had a major heart attack. I've had uh, all my reproductive system organs removed, all of them. I had my appendix removed. Uh, last year I had a stress induced seizure. I've had two major dental works done, infections. Um, a paracentesis, two thoracentesis, probably a couple other things I can't remember right now. I'm, I'm spent, y'all. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be happy on my march towards death. It's going to take me maybe about five months or so to transfer to hospice, because, or maybe less. Maybe these new things will kill me faster. I kind of hope so. I, I really don't want to take a long time to die. But that's what cancer does. It's not usually that quick. And then it's going to, especially these tumors, oh my god, the lymphoma tumors are freaking painful when they get hard. Oh my goodness, they're the worst. They're worse than the clear cell ever felt. It's disgusting. So the next few months are just going to be dwindling down into <sighs> chaos. <laughs> And I have to somehow endure and be nice to people. Shit. <laughs> this is going to be the toughest portion of my life yet. I don't think I can handle it. I'm pretty sure I'll snap. Because I have mental health issues already. I've had them my whole life. So. It's going to be difficult for the next while. I don't know if I'm going to make any more videos. I just don't really care about anything anymore. I hope you're having a better day than I am. Thanks for watching.